Welcome to another weekly market report with Kristen Mason Kreis, owner of the Homes by Mason team. Today, I'm starting you with interest rates. So as of today, I'm recording this October 17th, and on Thursdays is when the average for um, interest rates come out. We are up for the third week in a row. Interest rates had come down earlier, I guess. I don't know, in September, they had come down. We were approaching 6%, and now we've gone up three weeks in a row, and we are approaching 6.5%. That's where we are in interest rates. That's not where we were expecting to be. That's not where it was predicted that we would be. So I just want to let you know, that's where we are. Now, however, if you look at the year-over-year -year change in interest rate, we are um, over a percentage point lower than we were at this time last year. So interest rates were 1.19% higher. So approaching 8% at this time last year. So that is going to help inform you of what we see here. Because what I look at with you each week is we compare to a year ago, and we compare to a week ago, what is happening in the DC metro area. So what I see here is a kind of a typical fall market. Now I was anticipating something different than a typical fall market because if interest rates had continued to come down as expected, things would look different than a typical fall market. But basically what I'm seeing in these stats is makes sense based upon the current market with interest rates being where they are. So that said, uh, showings are up from a year ago because interest rates were almost 8% a year ago. So we have 9.1% more showings now than we did last year. However, compared to last week, when interest rates were lower last week, showings are down. Not a lot, but down 1.1%. Now this data is as of October 13th. So we're not exactly matching date to date, um, but the most current data that I have here for the DC market area. So purchase contracts are up almost 26% from a year ago because interest rates are down 1% from a year ago, but down essentially flat from a week ago, purchase contract activity. And median time to contract is the same as it was last year, 25 days median time to contract from when a home goes on the market until when it goes under contract, two days slower than a week ago. And new listings are up from a year ago, 18.4%, down 1% from a week ago. And active listings, I'll jump down there. I like to talk about inventory at the same time. New listings and active listings are what make up our inventory picture. So 19% more active listings than a year ago and up 1% from last year. I mean, sorry, last week. So basically, when you look at the week over week data, we're essentially in the same place we were last week. Not a lot of change from last week. Median list price is up 1.8% from a year ago. That is one of the things that is and has been consistent in our area, in our market. Generally, prices do go up year over year. So pretty consistently, we will see year over year prices are up. So for all those people out there who are waiting for the market to crash, waiting for prices to come down, generally, historically, prices go up. I could pull up other data and other charts that show you that. If you want me to, I'm happy to do that at another time. You can call me one-on-one -on -one to look at that data to dig deeper if you want to. Uh, but Or you could trust me because I've been doing this 15 years and I watch this data week over week. Generally, prices are up and up and up year over year over year. Prices we have a strong economy, we have a strong market in the DC metro area because we have so much military presence and we have the government presence. So that feeds our job market, which feeds our economy, which a colleague of mine says, houses are where jobs go home at night. So if we have a strong job market, lots of jobs here, that's why we have strong demand for housing. And that's why typically our prices do go up year over year. That is your weekly market report. God, sorry, my words sometimes don't come out exactly as I intend them to, but there you go. Thanks for watching. And if you want more to dive more into the data, you can either watch me on YouTube or Facebook on Mondays. I come on around one o'clock and do a deeper dive with the data on that day or call me, reach out. Happy to have this conversation. 
about how it looks for you, how it impacts you individually. 571-210-1866 is where you can call me or text me. You can email me at Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-E-N at homesbymason.com or check out the website anytime. Thanks again. Have a great weekend. Stop. Why? <laughs>